Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Fluffy Armchair Admiral and today we are going to continue our journey along Train Swim World 2 and various different routes that we will explore. So in the previous episode I've asked you to uh, give me some suggestions about the routes. Uh, on the YouTube, under the video I received one request. Uh, I also received one request on my Discord server. Uh, however, the one from the Discord server unfortunately can't be done. Uh, it was about Clinchfield uh, Railway. Unfortunately, I do not have that DLC just yet. Uh, so I can't do it right now. However, the one that appeared uh, under the previous video was for Schnellfaststrecke Köln. Uh, so we will continue on that route today. And it was about chapter 4. Yes, chapter 4. Last RE9 Aachen. Okay. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the game and let's have a look what this scenario has to offer to us. Okay, so I managed to pinpoint the scenario that we need, hopefully. Uh, that is this one, RE9 Aachen HBF, uh, which is by far the last service of this type in Chapter 4. And hopefully we will get a snowy weather in evening setting, so that's going to be interesting service to do. Uh, previously, I tried uh, RE9 ECS to Aachen Depot, but that was a massive disappointment. It was like five minutes mission. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It should be incorporated into uh, into this one if if they are in similar setting. Uh, however, I believe they are not. Uh, so yeah, that that was a bit of a disappointment. Anyway, uh, let's not talk about that and let's try RE9 Aachen HBF. Uh, hopefully it will be in the setting that I expect it to be. Okay, so here we are. It's 4.47. Uh, it looks like it's evening already so it's it's definitely winter so drive this westbound regional express re9 service to Aachen okay typical uh, we are starting at Köln uh, we will finish our route at Aachen uh, making few stops in the middle or on our way we will be driving BR442 talent 2 uh, grand total mass of this consist will be 316.7 tons. We got 8 cars in the consist and the length is 142.8 meters. Okay, that sounds correct and sounds like we have the right service at our hand. So let's begin. Yes, it is definitely winter. Let's turn on CIFA and PZB. Okay, we can unlock the doors. So that we won't be late. Okay, the setting is definitely snow. It doesn't look like it is snowing though. Which will help us. Let's set the reverser. Let's turn on the lights. I think that's everything that we have to do. Yeah. Yeah, that looks correct. That looks correct. Let's change the color of the displays I, I prefer the dark one unfortunately the timetable still doesn't work we are playing in the newest patch and that was released just two or three days ago uh, it should feature larger crowds unfortunately I'm not sure if that will apply to Schnellfaststrecke Köln it doesn't look like there is much more live on, on those platforms. Yeah, it's, it's uh, still kind of disappointing. 
let's take a screenshot we can lock the doors now so that we are ready for departure perfect let's set our camera at more appropriate angle and we should now be ready to go at least more or less let's just give it that 10 more seconds we still got red signal unfortunately no it's not for our truck I think okay we can now begin to move let's set our speed to 40 although ooh, yes we are permitted to leave we will have to confirm that signal Okay, perfect. So let's carry on. Let's confirm CIFA. Okay, everything seems to be okay. Let's confirm this one. Just in case it was for our truck, I didn't notice any signs. Speed limit will go up to 70. Really soon. We just have to travel for about 150 meters. All signals are green so far. Okay, that should be long enough. So let's push our speed up to 70. Okay, speed limit will go up to 80 soon. But not just yet. Although, looking at the weather, I think I will stay at 70 for a while. signals are green which is good oh, there we go that's Sifa in about two minutes we are supposed to make another stop are still green perfect that signal definitely doesn't apply to our track one and a half kilometers to go I don't really feel like I need to speed up oh there we go Sifa again yeah we got 1.3 kilometers to go that's pretty close to the station uh, speed limit goes up to 140 for our track We may, however, carry on at current speed. We should be okay to reach the next destination on time. So let's just do that. Oh, there we go. Sifa again. Five hundred meters to go. Let's use electrodynamic brake to stop us. That is Sipa again. Still got 100 meters to go. Uh, we are just slightly late according to the game. But that should be perfectly fine. Okay, 10 meters. I'll take it. 
let's load the passengers let's reset our throttle perfect we may now have a look at the outside yeah that looks beautiful let's take a nice screenshot it is not raining and it's not snowing however yet yeah, that scenery looks absolutely amazing when when there's snow around almost there speed limit will go up to 160 however it is currently at 140 we can now lock the doors okay now we got 15 kilometer route all the way to Horen set our speed to 140 and very soon we can increase that all the way to 160 let's reset CIFA okay we may now push it to 160. Perfect. So now we should be able to carry on without any issues. All we have to do is to confirm CIFA at the right times. There we go. And we should be all right. Yeah, that trip shouldn't take us too long. We are scheduled to arrive at around 5.02. That is Sifa. We can carry on at 160. Still got 12 kilometers to go. And there we go, Sifa again. Guess I need to pay a little bit more attention to it. Okay, so far things are looking good. From that speed, we will definitely try and use normal brake. Because using electrodynamic won't be as effective as we expect it to. And PZB won't forgive us any mistakes so as soon as we see speed limit restriction we will apply regular brakes that should turn off AFB that we are using at the moment or if you prefer to call it cruise control and we will be able to reduce our speed on time hopefully Okay, that scenery looks really nice when it's all white. And I have to admit that, yes, the weather and the time of day is making things look really nice. That is Sifa again. 6.7 kilometers to go.
effect. That is definitely nice and relaxing route. Once more, Sifa. Okay, we are getting really close to Horem. Perfect. Roughly around three and a half kilometers to go. We should soon see speed limit restriction signal. There we go. Hopefully that's not all the way. Yeah. That is not all the way. Let's reduce our speed. Hopefully we can make it before PZD will kick in. There we go. Let's reset Sifa. Confirm that signal. Yeah, we slowed down a little bit too much, I'm not gonna lie. But from now on, we should be able to successfully use electrodynamic brake. Let's confirm that signal again. Let's reset SIFA. 800 meters to go. Let's introduce slight braking. Now let's let it coast. I will take manual control of the train. We still got 600, well, roughly around 500 meters to go. And a minute to perform that stop. Let's introduce light braking. So that we can smoothly pull into that platform. Still got 150 meters to go. The train is slowing down nicely. Let's try and bring this train to this halt sign. And... Just perfect. And we are right on time. There we go. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, we are pretty much at the right spot. So I I do like where we stopped. We can take another screenshot. Might be very useful for our thumbnails. One of them will definitely be used. Okay, let's back into the cab. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We arrived just on time. We performed almost perfect stop. So definitely all that practice that I did before is paying off. We can now close the doors. And let's carry on. Speed limit is still 80.
Okay, we are back on the main line. Let's reset Sifa. Let's allow entire train to get back on the line. That's 160 speed limit. So after traveling for about 150 meters, we will be able to increase that. That should be enough now. So we can push our speed all the way to 160. There we go. So now the next stop is Duren in 18 kilometers. We should get there on time. And without too many issues. Well, that is as long as I won't fail on something. Because it's very easy to make mistake. And if you make mistake, again, I will repeat myself. PZB won't forgive me. <laughs> so yeah, it 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 is a little bit stressful to, to drive with PZB, especially when you are learning that thing. And when you are trying to get to feel the train, because right now that's what I'm trying to achieve. When it comes to the signals I feel pretty confident right now. We should be all right. Perfect, we still got green signals. We carry on for another 15 kilometers. And speed of 160 is gonna help us. We might even get to our destination ahead of time. That is going to be awesome if we can achieve that. 14 kilometers to go. Let's reset Sifa before it starts yelling at me. Perfect. That is one fast stretch of the tracks. Hopefully we will be able to continue at that rate for entire journey. Ah, we all know this track. Closer to Aachen we will see some speed limit restrictions. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Although it feels like the schedule is a little bit tighter than usual. And it's not because the train is speeding up or slowing down at a different rate. Like, I don't really feel like this snowy weather is affecting my train that much. So, yeah, I, I think it's mostly because with each consecutive run the timetable gets tighter and tighter so you don't gain that much of a headroom between the stops that is providing if you gain any headroom at all but yeah we got roughly around five minutes to reach our destination there is still 9.2 kilometers to go but the tracks are not exactly straight so it's not directly in a straight line there there are a few bends on the road so that distance might get a little bit longer okay 
one. Seven point nine. Yeah, we are definitely getting closer. There we go, that's C5 again. Perfect. Nice and relaxing drive. That's definitely what I need. 6.1 kilometers. There we go, that is Sifa again. Okay, signal is still green. That is very useful. three minutes we should easily be able to perform that stop okay three kilometers to go we should soon see Speed limit restriction. That is not one just yet, but I will start slowing down as I expect to stop. through station so perhaps it is good that I started to slow down a little bit sooner although it feels like I'm traveling a little bit faster than I should Yeah, I will be a little bit off. Perhaps. If I could. Okay. Anyway, I managed to stop a little bit too soon. Okay, maybe not. Entire train managed to fit into the platform. However, yeah, I stopped definitely sooner than expected uh, mostly because yeah I, I did expect to have any sort of slowdown signals in front and there were none so obviously uh, top left panel was very helpful in here uh, to tell me that yes you are approaching the next station Normally what I would get is a timetable that will mark where exactly the stops are. So what kilometer and hectometer of the route I'm expecting to stop. Uh, obviously that's not the case in that game. Uh, as you can see the timetable screen that is located here doesn't really display anything. 
and since that doesn't display anything I have to rely on UI or at least that part of UI that that is visible otherwise I would have to drive only according to my memory and that is not the way you you would normally drive you would uh, use all the informations that are provided and part of the information needed to fully immerse yourself into this game is actually not provided right we are now ready to carry on I will gradually increase my speed all the way to 160 kilometers per hour Langerwehe is our next stop. Perfect. It's just 8.7 kilometers. We are right on time, so there shouldn't be too many problems. We got five minutes to cover that distance. Oh, there we go, that's if I again. Okay. We are now approaching slower bit of the route since we reached halfway through it there will be a little bit more attractions when it comes to signals and events or rather signals yes I don't expect too many events this will probably be another mission same as every single one of them from Dovetail where they just put you on a specific timetable you just go along your route and there is nothing happening there is no unexpected events that will eventually create some delay or nothing like that you just go in a straight line from point A to point B making those few stops and basically the stops are the only attractions along the route anyway we are now traveling at 160 let's reset Sifa and we are getting very close to our next destination okay the signal in front of me is still green That is perfect. Surely enough. It is about time to start slowing down, even though the signal is green. I will reduce my speed. I'm way ahead of time. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. There we go. Speed limit will now go down. All the way to 80. Let's confirm the signal. And let's keep reducing my speed all the way down to 80 there we go we are perfectly at the speed limit and we got two minutes to approach the station we might have started to slow down a little bit too soon however it shouldn't throw us 
out of time. We got one and a half minutes and less than a kilometer to go. There is another signal that we have to confirm. There we go, signal confirmed. And we may now prepare to stop at this station. We are approaching it at relatively high speed, although 48 kilometers per hour doesn't seem like that much. I have to admit that SIFA can be really annoying when you are trying to stop at the station. But we made it! There we go. Again, we are stopped at another platform. Almost perfect stop. Just a few meters off. Unfortunately, I can't see any of those halt signals. At least not in this place. Pretty much the end of the train is at the very edge of the platform from what I can see. Yeah, it's, it's very close to the end of the platform. While front of the train is quite a distance away from halt signal. Perhaps this one was just misplaced by the developers. Uh, I can't say that. Uh, or I can't say which one is true. I don't know how this station looks in real life. Uh, but what I know for sure is that we can now lock the doors. And we may begin our next bit of journey. So let's depart right now. We are just slightly ahead of time, but that is not a big deal. Our speed is set all the way to 80. Train is nicely speeding up. 150 meters behind that signal. We will be able to speed up to 160. Unless there will be other signs that says otherwise. There are none. So let's fully speed up. Perhaps 140 will be better idea in that case. We got six kilometers to go. Five and a half. There's five minutes. Can't see any other signals. Yeah, five kilometers to go. We are doing 140 at the moment. Perhaps going a little bit slower for a while is not a problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay at 140. We might put ourselves a little bit closer to the actual timetable. Four kilometers to go. We got four minutes to go. So this shouldn't be a problem. Let's 
reach that so far. limit goes down to 60 so let's slow down it was a good call to to drive a little bit slower I will set my speed to 60 there we go Perfect. We are right on time. And we don't have to worry about braking too hard. That was a really good call. There we go, another signal to confirm. 1.2 kilometers to go. Fantastic. Uh, the new route speed limit is 120. We need to remember that. Okay, 500 meters to go. Or, well, just a little bit more than 500. 460. Sifa, again. Wrong timing. Okay, we are approaching platform at 45 kilometers per hour. Still got 200 meters to go. Let's reduce our speed. We are one minute ahead of time. So we got plenty of time to, to make that stop as perfect as we can. Again, Sifa. There we go. This station seems to be equipped with proper stop signals. Eight meters off. But I can clearly see the signal in front of me, so that's that's a good thing. Let's reset our throttle. And let's wait until we have to depart. We have to remember that the route speed limit is right now 120 km per hour instead of 160. That was the previous speed limit. Obviously, this siding or side track, because we are not on the main line, has a speed limit of 60. And that's one of the signals that I think we have to confirm, if I remember, uh, remember correctly. go we may now close the doors we still got a couple of seconds to depart so let's wait I will depart at 27.45 there we go we may now set our speed will confirm that signal just in case technically you don't have to because it's a static speed limit however the signal itself informs you that you are supposed to travel at 40 kilometers per hour with a sign that was on top of it that informed you that the speed limit is increased to 60 
which is correct. Okay. We are approaching Stolberg. We don't really have that long distance to cover. Although we may actually speed up. We are allowed to travel at 120. So let's gain some speed. We will obviously begin braking really soon. Okay, speed limit goes down to 110. And very soon we might see some further speed limit. So in fact we are approaching 2 km mark so I can set my speed to 80 so that I can comfortably perform that stop. We don't need to worry about the signals right now. They were all green and the next signal is green. Speed limit is 110. We will approach this station on the main track. Which is good. We got 1.3 kilometers to go and about a minute to approach the station. Okay, there we go, that's Sifa. Okay, less than one kilometer to go. And 60 seconds to perform stop, providing that we are ahead of time, just a little bit at least. We shouldn't be... late. We still should perform that stop more or less on time. I will use electrodynamic brake to slow us down. There we go, that is Sifa again. We'll pop up at least once more before we perform the stop. So I need to be wary of that. We are now entering the platform. We got 150 meters to go. Our speed is perhaps slightly higher than expected. Yeah. Although, yeah, we should be able to stop exactly at the right time. Okay, a little bit further away than we planned and five seconds later than scheduled. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. It was still pretty good stop. And even though we are five seconds late, it shouldn't have an impact on our scores. Yeah, in fact, that's even better. Entire train fit into the platform. There is another talent to leaving the station. Perfect. Let's look at that beautiful scenery. It is absolutely amazing. Let's take another screenshot. As long as we can. There we go. We may now lock the doors. And begin to move. Next stop, Ahenrote Erde. Track speed limit is 110. At least at the moment. Let's observe if there is any other speed limit sign. There should be. Because technically, again, that bit of a track is supposed to have 140 km per hour speed limit. Sadly, that is not the case. And apparently, I can't see the speed limit sign. Yep. So, there are two scenarios that may be the case. First one is that developers actually planned this bit of a track to be 110. And that would explain why we got so much time to reach Ahenrote Erde. 
are developers indeed planned to have 140 speed limit here and they just forgot to put the sign on and that wouldn't explain why we have so much time to reach Ahenrote Erde so I don't know I, I think there were two different people working on this route and and they couldn't find common language about this bit of a track but it's only this bit of a track that's that I'm talking about okay we are approaching the tunnel let's give it a blast of a horn another blast of a horn there we go 4.2 kilometers and we got three minutes to go I'm traveling at solid 110 there is no need to speed up we got plenty of time let's reset Sifa Okay, there is now some life on that station. I've never actually performed a stop in here, or at least I don't remember doing such thing. We got three kilometers to go, three minutes to go, and my speed is just perfect to reach that destination ahead of time. Oh, there we go, see if I again. and a half kilometers to go I'm not sure if developers actually did any changes to that route since the last patch okay speed limit will go down I can use cruise control to actually slow us down we should make it on time and there we go speed limit will go down to 120 we don't have to confirm that signal because obviously we know that the station is gonna come in really really soon one and a half kilometers we are doing 80 kilometers per hour so I'm far below the speed limit rather on the safe side but well that's what you get when you travel on the same route for such a long time you, you just learn it you you know how it goes and you know what to expect in different places so I knew there's gonna be a speed limit restriction I wasn't exactly sure when it's gonna come but we are 800 meters away from the station so there is absolutely no need for me to perform any further action we are 550 meters away from our stopping point and we got one minute to cover that distance. I can now introduce braking, reset SIFA. There we go, we are in 100 km per hour speed limit zone. Okay, just a few meters off. I'm not gonna bother with SIFA because it's gonna turn itself off as soon as we bring the train to complete stop. No, oh, it looks like my speedometer is slightly bugged. It shows that I'm moving at speed of one kilometer per hour, which is obviously not true. I'm fully stationary. Ooh, that is immediately a perfect shot perhaps that would be a better angle there we go the camera is shaking so there is clearly some movement but I think it's just graphical glitch something that you're gonna get when you play the game 
okay we may now lock the doors and prepare for our departure towards Aachen which is gonna be our final stop the speed limit will go down to 70 kilometers per hour really soon and that is the signal you have to confirm uh, if you remember one of my previous playthroughs of this route you probably remember that place if you fail to confirm this signal right in front of you PZB will bring your train to a complete stop using emergency brake so don't get misguided by the fact that on top of the signal there is a 100 km per hour marker because that information that the speed limit will drop is the important part of that signal so even though you could normally travel at 100 km per hour because that's what the route permits you to since you are using PZB you are not allowed to go that fast you are supposed to slow down and prepare your train to slow down even further there is another signal that confirms that there's gonna be speed limit restriction down to 70 and now the speed limit restriction will go down to 40 we have to confirm that one and drop our speed down to 40 so we shall do that right now there we go we are down to 40 kilometers per hour on a very safe side another signal to confirm that informs us that the speed limit restriction will apply really soon there we go let's confirm Sifa we got one and a half minutes to enter platform and perform that stop and that's when the speed limit restriction is at 40 so it applies from this semaphore obviously we just passed it There we go, we don't have to confirm it though, because it was just a speed limit restriction. Okay, let's confirm SIFA. And now let's begin the procedure of stopping the train. got 50 meters to go you need to be very careful approaching this stopping point because if you fail to stop then obviously you're gonna go past that red signal in front of you and that will finish your scenario with a failure because that's how the game works you are not supposed to go past a uh, signal of danger so it's better to stop a little bit sooner than to stop too late uh, you will mostly find yourself in similar situation while traveling with uh, ICE train which is a little bit harder to stop in my opinion or at least it is harder to stop at those end signals uh, mostly because the markers are terribly close to those and at the same time slowing down using electrodynamic brake on ICE is not as good as it is in Talent 2 and well while I feel fairly confident operating uh, electrodynamic brake in Talent 2 locomotive or unit uh, ICE train yeah you might want to apply some normal brakes anyway uh, we got a brand new look of uh, of those performance graphs and and stuff they are much easier to read right now in my opinion as you can see uh, after the patch the game gets a little bit of a lifting when it comes to overall looks and it's not that bad it it actually looks pretty good 
uh, one thing that I just realized, if you remember, distance between this stop and this stop, at some point I mentioned we should be able to travel at 160, was it here? No. Or was it, oh no, that was in here. Okay, that's perfect. So the speed limit was indeed around 140 or 120. Can't remember. Oh, that is. Hmm. Wait, and that is Langerwehe. That is Ahenrote Erde. Was it Langerwehe? Or was it Stolberg? Yes, that was Stolberg. Okay, so our approach to Stolberg, and there was a speed limit somewhere here. How how was it working? There was a piece of a track that I was traveling much slower than I should. And I think that's this bit. So I was still allowed to travel at 160. I've been traveling at 140 and managed to perform quite smooth stop. Uh, and that was, that was Stolberg. Can't remember which one was it. Oh, it, it would be nice if, if they would, oh, actually, uh, we can actually count it. So that is Ahenrote Erde, that is Stolberg. Eschweiler, oh, there we go, Eschweiler, yeah, so at Eschweiler, yeah, we've been approaching 20 kilometers below the speed limit, we still managed to get there ahead of time, so actually that bit of a track slowed us down enough so that we can approach Stolberg on time, then we've been ahead of time at Ahenrote Erde, even though we were traveling way below the speed limit, as you can see. And we even slowed down way below the speed limit. We still managed to get to Ahenrote Erde one minute ahead of time. And eventually we arrived at Ahen, our final destination, one minute ahead of time. It took us 55 minutes, 55 seconds to cover a distance of 70 kilometers and 70 meters and so that was pretty good run uh, indeed uh, the scheme of that trip was absolutely amazing i really loved it thank you very much rally for recommending this one to me uh, however i couldn't really feel the challenge of it um, like yes the winter could add some challenge because the game technically features uh, some simulation of bad weather and wet tracks or icy tracks. Uh, so definitely I've been driving a little bit more carefully and you can see that on the graph or you could see that on the graph uh, that I've not been exactly reaching full potential of this uh, unit. Uh, but I still managed to perform all the stops on time uh, we didn't have too many, uh, too much struggle to keep up with uh, with our schedule, which is really nice. The problem is that this was exactly the same run that I did two episodes ago. Effectively, the only difference is time of day, which doesn't really impact you as a player, and the weather outside of your cabin, which again doesn't impact you as a player. Nothing really happened during that run. There was no unexpected problems, let's say, at Diren, where some things could be introduced. So that was a third stop. So that was right here. Perfect. Right after you went down from 160, slowed down to a proper speed, you could have encountered let's say, okay, there is a broken down train in front of you until next station and move on the left track. That is adding to, to that, like, that unique feel that you have to do something unconventional from time to time. And that would be a cool scenario to do. Obviously, this is a good scenario to play 
in this so-called timetable mode when when you just jump into the train and you follow the timetable everything is perfectly fine everything is always the same that's how it should be however i would expect like a campaign or a journey mode to be that unique and unexpected experience where not everything goes smooth at all times uh, again at the beginning of my journey yeah i i managed to speed up to 70 pretty much a little bit too fast there was another there was that 60 kilometer per hour speed limit sign or section that i missed again you can see that on the graph uh pro well you can't see that right now because i i changed the screen but yeah uh, when you get back to the graph you will see at the start of the journey that i went above the speed limit again <laughs> so my apologies for that uh i i missed something clearly uh but yeah uh, apart from that things were really smooth i really like the refreshed look of the menus and all all the graphs um it's definitely much easier to read right now a uh, few things have changed colors and and i kind of like it it's 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 really suiting the game anyway guys uh i hope you enjoyed it uh, i look forward to uh, hear your recommendations in the comments down below uh, what should i feature in the next episode if you've managed to uh, recommend a route and a dlc uh, that i own then i will try and feature it as soon as possible the more recommendation the better uh, we might eventually create some votes for it or i might just feature them in consecutive weeks so don't be afraid to write something down in the comments below the video uh, obviously i also look forward to hear your thoughts about this route and many other things in the game or things that i've been talking about uh, throughout this video i wasn't really talking well i wasn't really uh, doing any any sort of like a chit chat or uh, loose thoughts but yeah uh, you you might want to comment on on things that were happening uh, and finally well don't forget to jump on my discord server where you can also raise your voice and concerns or uh, share of your share some of your thoughts uh, with not only me but rest of the viewers that already joined uh, so i strongly encourage you to do so you can find link in description down below this video have a great day and i'll catch you next time bye bye